Hello YouTube, this is the Narumin, and now I want to do a wrap-up video on uh, Mongoose Traveler. Um, why a wrap-up? Because the rest what, of what I've not shown you is um, mostly too detailed, uh, either because I would really have to go into detail to tell you everything about it, or because it's about the rules and as I have mentioned I have not yet played this uh, system I wouldn't really want to talk about rules if I have not seen them in action. Maybe they are good and I, th uh, I think now they are uh, not good and they turn out to be quite good and vice versa. So what I will be talking about is uh, space travel uh, uh, the spaceships that are in this book, um, the um, equipment uh, part, uh, the equipment that is included in this manual. <coughs> sorry, <coughs> in this rule book, and um, a bit about psionics, um, blah, 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 and about the merchant system. Um, yeah. So, uh, let's talk about the ships first, because, let's be honest, it's sci-fi and we all want the spaceships. Um, what's really nice about Traveller is uh, that they have uh, deck plans, so you really uh, can... Um, if you want, you could have firefights in... Uh, uh, your sh in your spaceship and you already w uh, would have already have a plan of it. You can uh, say this is my quarter, here f this is mine, mm -hmm. and here is the picture that I stole from there and so on. Um, so uh, that's really good and uh, it really gives you a feeling for the space you have which is n mostly not much because space travel in itself is really expensive and you want uh, don't want any wasted space like on modern ships um, but I can't seem... ah here um, the um, deck plans in here are not the best I've seen so far but they will do the trick um, wrong page no. so um, uh, there are quite a number of ships in here that uh, are suitable to varying, uh, varying uh, kinds of troops that uh, will be playing. Um, you have the smallest ship that uh, at best is only manned by two people and at maximum by four, uh, going up to ships you could uh, that could be uh, used for 20 people. Um, so, if you want to have a large contingent of NPCs uh, with your uh, uh, traveling with your characters, or maybe uh, have multiple characters per player, which is also uh, something that works very well with Traveller, especially in the military campaigns, you could have each um, e each player have an officer character and an uh, enlisted character so that uh, you don't end up uh, with the captain going on uh, on ground missions and such. Uh, you have uh, traders, you have police ships, you have uh, small combat ships, um, you have uh, slightly larger combat ships, you have a, a luxury ship, um, pirate ships, um, and you have, of course, small craft, uh, in-system craft, uh, that, um, like uh, like shuttles, and uh, um, uh, small fighters, and uh, modular ships, and passenger shuttles, and such. Um, and all these are, in principle, affordable and manable by a group of four people. So they did a quite a good job in uh, in uh, um, 
in selecting these ships. But I think uh, that's something that's uh, with Traveller since the beginning. I own um, the PDF of Classic Traveller and most of these find themselves uh, even then. But um, then they had no deck plans readily available. You had to buy another book. Um, these deck plans, as I said, are not the best I've ever seen and um, sometimes the writing is so small that it's really hard to read without going directly above the book. Um, but uh, I think if you really wanted uh, to use it for your campaign, you would more than likely uh, uh, copy the page to a bigger size. So that's not that much of a problem. Um, if, uh, on a side note, um, the best uh, deck plans I've seen yet uh, were with GURPS Traveler. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, okay, so we have the ships. Um, you also have a system included in this uh, book to create um, ships up to 2,000 tons. A uh, ton, uh, a ton hereby is uh, defined as the space occupied by one ton of liquid uh, hydrogen. So it's uh, more uh, a ton is not a unit of mass but of room of space. Um, that's not very uh, not very big, but it's uh, very usable for the ships for ships available to your characters and maybe small military craft or more small the smaller bigger freighters. Um, for really big ships, you will have to use high guard. Um, but as the core rulebook, um, this is also available as an SRD. Um, oh, I forgot to mention the core rulebook is available as an SRD, I think. Um, but uh, the core rulebook's SRD is um, not complete. You cannot play the game with the SRD alone, because you have only um, only one career available as an example for character creation and uh, you uh, I think yeah uh, m some tables are missing um, I don't know if this is the second thing is simply a mistake or if this was done by um, by design but anyway, with uh, only the, the core rulebooks SRD you cannot play. Um, at least one player will need uh, the core rulebook. Um, high guard, it's different. Um, if you only have the SRD, you still can uh, create all the ships. I think I don't. Ha I only have the SRD, um, but I have not yet found problems with designing ships using o that only. Um, you don't get any new careers that are normally included and you don't get all the deck plans and extra ships that are also in uh, high guard. But you get the creation uh, rules and for me that's really enough. Um, yeah, so you can uh, with this and the SRD um, for high guard you can build ships of any uh, of any um, of any tonnage and uh, yeah um, then equipment um, you have uh, um, explosives you have different kinds of guns for all kinds of technological periods uh, laser guns, plasma guns uh, fusion guns um, grenade launchers um, rocket launchers, um, you have uh, flintlock pistols, uh, automatic pistols, uh, muskets, um, assault rifles, uh, um, shotguns, you have um, 
clubs and daggers and shields as well as um, rapiers and um, uh, yeah uh, and more modern kinds of uh, close quarter combats stuff. Um, you have uh, survival gear, you have um, communications gear and spying gear, uh, you have robots, um, you have m uh, different kinds of drugs useful for healing or for combat, um, medical uh, equipment, you have software, computers, um, you have uh, a limited amount of cyberware and wetware, you have different kinds of armor and spacesuits, um, uh, and you have information about uh, the cost of living in a certain uh, to a certain quality of living. Um, I think this is really quite extensive, if not for every technological level. Um, with a bit of thinking, I think also this is well enough. But there is also the Imperial Supply Catalog, I think, which uh, improves, as I have heard, mostly upon weapons and armor, and also does a bit of equipment um, and uh, and vehicles. Oh, vehicles are also in here, but that section is a bit lacking. Um, yeah. But um, I think that is not really needed. If you uh, see what this is about, then you can easily change. Maybe if it's from an earlier technological level, uh, then you simply uh, reduce uh, the effect or push up the side effects or something like that. Um, uh, what else what I wanted to say? Um, <laughs> the merchant system. Uh, you want to fly around and buy goods and sell goods and get rich with it. Um, the system in here is um, best, well, is only suitable realistically in places where there is only very rarely uh, interstellar travel available because it assumes uh, that you can buy something at one point very cheaply and go somewhere else and sell it uh, to a very high price uh, and it does not really um, say something about how far away it is and such S and if this is such if you have find such a super route that you can buy very cheaply and sell uh, to a very high price then uh, why does nobody else do this and very quickly you will end up in a situation where the large uh, freighter lines will take all the cargo from you and uh, sell them only for a small profit margin that is enough for them but won't be enough for you uh, so this is more for frontier regions uh, the the cargo system or maybe you find uh, you for for more civilized regions of space you would have to um, uh, come up with your own system um, psionics uh, you have uh, uh, one specialist's psionic career in here that is only available if your referee allows it and you have one, two, three, four, five, five different um, psionic powers, which uh, then go into uh, different um, different effects. You have um, telepathy. You have um, uh, a psi sensing, a psi sense. Uh, you have um, body control which is uh, fast healing and uh, uh, making yourself stronger and such things. And uh, then you have teleportation um, which uh, and telekinesis. Um, so you could do uh, a limited amount of uh, medieval fantasy campaign with this uh, if, you, if the sorcery is really psionics. Um, 
something else? Um, I don't think so because the time is up. Um, I'm the Narrowman, thank you for watching and maybe I will have to do one short video more about Traveller.